It doesn't matter where he lives. What matters is that he is a Muslim and a practicing Muslim. So I'm not going to give my zakat to somebody who uh, annoys the Prophet or his family members or Alul Bayt by cursing some of his wives or some of his companions. This is you got to keep in mind. It has nothing to do where, with where he lives. Secondly, a person who has properties and he's well off is not eligible for zakat. He can sell some of his properties in order to, you say that he has plenty of properties and he chose to live in a rental property. I have a lot of contractors and business people who actually uh, possess millions, uh, but in investment here and there. And meanwhile, they prefer to sell in a rental property because the money they invested in their business. So when you ask them, how much do you have in cash in their hands? Maybe a few thousands, but in reality, he's a multimillionaire because of their positions in the investment or urud tijara or the buildings that he is constructing here and there. So the wholesome, when we look at the person, is he in need? He doesn't have anything to take care of himself and his family, his faqir. He doesn't have anything to suffice for him for six months and for a year. In this case, he's eligible. So give them zakah as long as they are practicing Muslims. Giving zakah to relatives, is more worthy and given preference to giving zakat to non-relatives provided they are eligible.